Cowboys star Michael Parsons blessed former NFL player and ESPN analyst Bart Scott, who blamed Bengals right receiver T. Higgins for causing Bill safety DeMar Hamlin's cardiac arrest during Monday Night Football. Yo, are we serious? Michael Parsons tweeted, why do we let some people speak on TV? This was a freak incident by putting fault on another player as well. They should make some of these guys go over the lines or something or not even give them a seat at the table. Michael Parsons wasn't done firing off another tweet in response to Bar Scott writing, like that's not even considered how T. Higgins feels before airing some bullshit like that. That traumatic event he just went through, I swear some of these TV guys have too much egos on these stages we give them. During an appearance on ESPN's first take, Bar Scott seemed to imply Tuesday T. Higgins was in part responsible for Hamlin going into cardiac arrest on the field. Intentionally, right. what exactly did T. Higgins do last night to Hamlin? Well, right, right before the tackle, he lowers his helmet and he kind of throws his body into his chest. He's standing up because he's thinking he's got to take ch chase T. Higgins at an angle to make a tackle. So he didn't expect T. Higgins to launch his body back into him. You know, it's one of those things that a lot of times you sit as a linebacker, uh, un unblocked, you know, un unengated un um, running back comes through the hole and he knows that contact's coming, so he lowers his helmet and you can't get underneath him. So he's able to get into you and your chest is exposed. So they, they, they've taken that out of the game, but they don't really regulate it as much as possible. I, I, I expect the league would be a lot more vigilant when it comes to that and using that penalty. Right. The former NFL player responded to Micah Parsons directly on Twitter Wednesday, saying it wasn't concise in my explanation, but there was from the third segment. The first segment, I said exactly what you said. It was a freak accident and expressed my concern for Higgins and was happy his mom was there. You know how this works. They use this clips for attention. So we got good news. The Buffalo Bills say DeMar Hamlin has made remarkable improvement over the last day and while still critically ill, it's clear the standout safety has made steady progress. The organization released a statement Thursday morning updating fans on the 24-year-old Hamlin who has been hospitalized in the ICU since Monday night. Per the physicians caring for DeMar Hamlin at the University of Cincinnati Medical Center, DeMar Hamlin has shown remarkable improvement over the past 24 hours, the bill said. While still critically ill, he has demonstrated that he appears to be neurologically intact, his lungs continue to heal, and he's making steady progress. One of the first things DeMar Hamlin asked the doctors was who won the Bills vs. Bengals game. The doctors responded by saying, you won at the game of life. Watch the video. DeMar spoke. Last night, can you speak yeah, to that? I can clarify. He did not speak. Um, he was able to communicate uh, in writing, um, and he is uh, unable to speak with us yet, as he uh, still has a breathing tube in, and we are still assisting him with uh, ventilation. Uh, so the um, you know when he was communicating with us uh, last night and again today, that's been in writing. <clears throat> and uh, you know to paraphrase uh, one of our partners, you know when when he asked, "Did we win?" The answer is. Yes, you know, Damar, you won. You won the game of life. Uh, and that's probably the most important thing out of this. And we really need to keep him at the center uh, of everything else that's going on. And we really want to ensure a good outcome for him. Steelers head coach Mike Tomlin also shared how he felt regarding Damar Hamlin's situation, saying it's really a personal thing for him. The Steelers head coach opened his media availability on Tuesday by explaining how Damar Hamlin's condition hits close to home. Telling reporters, I've known that guy probably since he was about 12. DeMar Hamlin was a standout at Central Catholic High School in Pittsburgh, receiving Defensive Player of the Year and All-State Honors. Tomlin says he was fortunate to have watched him develop into the player he is, he is today. This is what he had to say. Watch the video. Uh, before I open up for questions, I'll, I'll say this about uh, DeMar Hamlin. Um, man, it's a really personal thing for me, uh, being a Pittsburgher. And that young man being a Pittsburgher, I've known that guy probably since he was about 12. Um, just got a lot of respect and love for him as a human being. Um, his commitment to the pursuit of his uh, goals and dreams of doing what it is he's doing right now, which is playing in the NFL. And to watch him make personal decisions and, and, and make that a realization, um, it's just an honor to get to know young people like that. I um, had an opportunity to express that to him whenever I see him. We've played. Buffalo um, each of the last two seasons and he and I get to have a moment um, because it's just cool to 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 not only appreciate these guys in terms of where they are now but to to know them since they were younger people and to to watch their maturation their development to watch them um, 
you know, earn what they've been chasing. Um, it's just really a, a cool thing. And he's an example of that. I got a lot of love for that young man. We lifted he, him and that organization up in prayer, um, reached out to Sean McDermott to lend whatever assistance I could. Um, but um, I don't have a lot to add other than that. Um, I just respect the fact that you guys appreciate how personal it is for, for me, not only for me, but just for all of us um, as people that, that thrive in this space. Um, that's not obviously something that you ever want to see. President Joe Biden says he spoke with the mom and dad of DeMar Hamlin. President Joe Biden spoke to the media in, in Kentucky when he reviewed he had a conversation with DeMar Hamlin's family. Joe Biden was asked whether football was too dangerous in the wake of the terrifying medical emergency. This is what he had to say. Do you think the NFL is getting too dangerous? No, look. The idea that you're going to have, you got guys that are 6'8", 340 pounds, running a 4'8", 40. I mean, you know, uh, you, you hit somebody with that kind of force. Now, that's not what happened here. But I, I just think it's, uh, I don't know how you avoid it. I think working like hell on the helmets and the concussion protocols, that all makes a lot of sense. But it's, uh, you know, it is, it is dangerous. you got to just acknowledge it. The love for DeMar Hamlin is everywhere. Even Niagara Falls, which was illuminated in blue light to show support for the Buffalo Bills player amid his recovery. The landmark, which is 19 miles from Buffalo and spans the border between Ontario, Canada, and New York State, displayed a tribute for 15 minutes on Tuesday night. Our collective thoughts are with him, his family, his team, and the city of Buffalo. Niagara Falls Twitter account shared.